the death ride is just one of those cycling challenges that it certainly takes you into a part of the world that's hard to experience in too many other areas. Craggy peaks and um, narrow, steep roads and just spectacular scenery at one of our town hall meetings. I did talk about what we can accomplish if we really focus and work towards a goal. I showed what the death ride uh, looked like as far as the ups and downs. And I put a, a little bit of a challenge out there and I ended up with about 10 people afterwards saying, yeah, I think I want to do that if you'll do it. Bike riding is both a, a group activity and a highly individualistic sport. A lot of that is Sierra Nevada, um, and I know it's a family business, and it's a kind of cliche to say we're family, but it's it's more like we're kin. Um, and so everybody that's riding, um, and we've gotten to know each other, but not because we spend hours and hours, but because we have this shared experience. And I think that's uh, that's very Sierra Nevada like. <laughs> thousand feet so far and really four thousand more to go. I mean having the roads closed through the cars, uh, the scenery going up Abbots, it was a hard ride but it was spectacular. Yeah, you're just soaking it in I bet. Uh, yeah, yeah, you don't have much choice but uh, you're going slow. So you're getting bird's eye view. How did it happen? Did you hit something? Yeah, I was going down on the back of Ebbets and there was like a huge um, pothole in the road and I didn't see it because I was going too fast. Luckily, helmet and tumbled into some soft gravel, not like anything too bad. I don't know why anybody would suffer through this. Satan came up with this kind of torture yeah, test. And the wind, it was friggin'. I haven't had a beer in a week, and I'm gonna go climb another mountain. It's gonna be awesome. Alright, let's go, go catch Ken. Probably not. He's going strong. We all look at Ken as the owner and as the CEO, but for 30, however, eight years, Ken, you know, Ken's just in it with everybody else. You know, when you get out there, we're all going to be suffering up the same hill in the same way. It's, it's really very Ken-like. Ken has been incredibly encouraging, uh, and I think that's actually helped me a lot, is Ken saying, like, oh, you'll be great, oh, you'll be fine. Awesome. I feel like uh, it's time for this pale ale. I carried this the whole way, 130 miles. Cheers. He did it. He did it. He's got his pen and everything. Okay, got to get yeah. Oh my God! Look at him. I'm so overwhelmed. <laughs> He did it! It's so overwhelmed. It feels amazing. Congrats, man. Thank you. There's a point in time where the training gets you so far, um, and then it doesn't matter how well trained you are, that you're challenged. Uh, and there's a point in time when it really comes down to personal grit. Um, you can still be in shape, and I think we'll all experience at some point, but there's going to be a point where it becomes mental and it becomes about, um, and, you know, your character gets challenged more than your body. It was hard. It was harder than I thought it was going to be. 
It was. Uh, I told you that. I, mean, I knew it was going to be challenging, but it was more challenging than I even anticipated. Cheers. Cheers. Job well done. Thanks to Ken for uh, giving us all the opportunity to do this, and uh, to everybody else for all the encouragement that they've given each other along the way. I think that's probably been the coolest part of the last six months. I feel great. I got a little burst of uh, energy there at the end, and it was a great ride and long day. Told everybody I thought it was going to be pretty hard, but if you were focused, you could do it. And I think you know a lot of people did it. And, you know, after seeing a bunch of my team already make it in, and others that I think will make it in here shortly, it was great. Yeah.